Hello, this is Spider Math from the future. Well, not really from the future, because you're watching this in the past, aren't you? But this is from the future of this video that I'm about to play you. I'm just editing it. Found this video I'd done quite a few months ago. It was after I created the Pico code for this little robot. So to do these fancy eyes for the robot. Do you remember that? Look. Ah, number five's definitely alive. So in that video, I said that I would do the code for the Arduino as well. So I've got an Arduino here and I've got the code for this. It's slightly different, but it does uh, some different things. Uh, but I've never shown you this code. So I'm just going to do a simple walkthrough of the code so that if you don't have uh, Pi Pico or the little teeny 2040 that I've got here, and you want to use eyes like this on an OLED display in your models, then you can use your Arduino instead. So enjoy the video. Hello everyone. So I thought I'd go through the Arduino code today for my little robot eyes project. So let's very, very quickly just wire up the eyes again. If you want to see how I did this, have a look at this video here. Um, which explains how it's all wired up. But let's just get this done. This OLED is the SSD 1306 and I used the library that Adafruit, Adafruit has produced for this. So I originally pasted all of my Pico code into this Adafruit sketch and tried to get it working from there. This uh, library actually comes with all of the uh, different demos for it. I actually deleted the demos. I'm not allowed to distribute this because I have to put the Adafruit splash screen in it. So I've removed the splash screen from this. I might do a version of it and put it on my GitHub, which has the splash screen. But I thought it was funny just to have a booting screen to turn on uh, when it turned on like that. So instead of the Adafruit logo, I do that with it. To distribute this, I've got to put that Adafruit logo back. So I'll just go through this. It's very similar to the previous Pico code that I wrote. In fact, I wrote the Pico code first. But if we go through and look at it, this sets up the interface. You have to set this bit to set the dimensions of the screen that you're using so you could use a 64 screen on this as well and here I've got the width of the eye the width of the pupil there's a tick thing which I do and the position of the right and left pupil on the x which is what I use to do all the different animations so if we go through this code here this is the very start this is what runs to begin with and all this does is draw a rectangle. So you see, I draw an external rectangle and then inside it, I draw another rectangle, but I just draw it bit by bit. So this loop goes between one and 114 and it displays a rectangle inside the other rectangle. So when I first start it, it displays the empty rectangle and then it builds up this inner rectangle as it goes across. That's just how I did the loading screen from it. And there we could change the speed of that by changing that delay. Lowering that delay there will make it run faster or increasing that will make it run slower. So here's then the main thing that draws the eyes and it's just drawing a filled circle with the color of white or black. So if you watch the other video for more detail, the Pico video, the actual code is very much the same for this. But notice here I've got something called an eyelid. So I didn't do this on the other one. But what this does is it draws a empty circle so it doesn't draw a filled circle and you'll just see it flickering. And then before it updates the screen, it draws a rectangle in black over it, which gives two little crescents at the bottom. And that's what I use there. It did it there just on cue. That's what I use for my filling the eyes. So these are the circle for the two eyes. And then this is that rectangle. And I played about with this a while to see how much I needed. And that was about the size of the rectangle. Of course, you can't see a black rectangle on a black screen. But what you can see is where it erases the white circles underneath it. But it does all of that bit before it sends it to the display. So the user just sees those two little bits of the eyelids at the bottom. So center draws, that's the left and right pupil positions. And a pause after it. So I can go down to all of those. Confuse, it gets the two pupils to look at each other. 
uh, the blink uh, i think actually what i'm doing on the blink is that i don't clear all the screen at once if you see i sort of jump and draw a black rectangle in two or three positions that gets repeatedly bigger just so it will go through that six times and it's just like it, it doesn't immediately take the eye open so it's as if the eye is moving down the eyelids moving down so that's different than my pico but you could take the pico code and put this into the pico code as well if you wanted it's pretty much the same and there's then there's a loop that does all the animations it picks a random number the same as the other one at the start it does a center first and then depending on the number that it picks it chooses one of these animation routines and i use a case command here as well so uh, when i've got that random number is a number between 1 and 20 and then depending on the number i do something half of the time you see well nearly half of the time it doesn't do anything anyway sometimes it looks down so that's how you can use a similar code on an arduino that i used for my robot eyes with a ssd on the pi pico so i hope you find that interesting maybe i'll do some more of these code bits where i do both coding i might even show you how i convert the code from one to another maybe but it's very very similar as you can see once you've got the concept of what you want the code to do it's quite uh, similar to look at the two things uh, together and do that well thank you sorry that was a bit bitty um i wasn't actually writing the code i was just walking through the code i'll try and get this code on my github so if you're interested you could use that so i hope you enjoyed that and if you did sorry for the long delay in posting this but please give it a like. Bye.